hate bait. <laughs> True. How have I prepared for my debate with Zizek? What are your goals for the? Oh my God, this was so embarrassing. What was he thinking? Conversation to be productive. Well, I haven't prepared enough, but I've got tomorrow. You know, and you can do a lot with one day. React to Dave Smith imagine, talking about Russia on Jerry. Imagine a college professor saying that. <laughs> I want to review some more of Zizek's YouTube videos. <laughs> I want to go through a couple of his books. How have I prepared for my debate with Zizek? What are your goals for the conversation to be productive? What am I debating him on? We're actually just going to talk about how much we both hate Kevils the entire time. That's actually the whole debate. Just an hour of us agreeing the entire time negatively about trans people. Just so that I can trigger the ever-living fuck out of every single person on the internet. Stim now for good luck. Ooh. There you go. Just one. Do we have time to watch any of these? I've got seven minutes. This seems like a Pierce Martin. It up. I don't want to, but I have to. Seems like uh, a I want to ask you just quickly. Uh, the film director Olivia Wilde oh. has a new movie out, which yeah. is, she says is based on you, this insane man, this pseudo intellectual hero to the incel community. Incel being these weirdo loner men uh, who are you know, despicable in many ways. Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these people? Sure. Why not? You know, um, people have been after me for a long time by, because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know, what a terrible thing to do that is. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. Oh my God. It's making you emotional to talk about that. Well, God, you know. Okay. If this was a woman, everybody would be making fun of her for not being able to control her emotions. One million percent. One million percent. But Peterson fans see this and are like, oh my God, so powerful. Get out of here. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults these these incels is what do they mean it's like well these men they're they don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them women like be picky that's that's your gift man demand high standards from your men fair enough but all these men who are alienated it's like they're lonesome and 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 they don't know what to do and everyone piles abuse on them when she said that olivia wilde it stung you, didn't it? I saw the oh, by that time, you know, that as far as as criti critiques go, that was kind of low level. I mean, once I got painted as Red Skull, you know, magical super Nazi, that was kind of the end of the insults. There's no place past that. So when Olivia Wilde made those comments, the first thing I did was go look at the preview for her movie, which I quite liked. I thought I would go see that movie probably, and perhaps I will. It didn't really bother me. My, my family and I talked about it right away, and we were able to respond to it with some degree of humor, which <laughs> then people completely misunderstood. I said I hope that, you know, that if I had to be played by someone, I think Chris Wilde, is mm. that? He's a very good-looking man, and so that seems all right, you know? And then I said something like, I hope he gets my, my uh, fashion style choice right when he <laughs> plays me. And it was a joke. All that was a joke. I mean, no. you've been so controlled today, and yet in that brief moment, you got very emotional. Why? God, he's farming it's hard. It's something to see. Constantly. How many people are dying for lack of an encouraging word? Mm. Here is is farming this guy. And how easy it is to provide that if you're careful. You know, give credit where credit is due. And to say... You're a net force for good, if you want to be. Do you believe you're a net force for good? 
net? Yes. Why? In all the details? Probably not. You know, no one's perfect. So, people make their mistakes as they stumble uphill. Jordan's been a fascinating interview. Thank you very much. You've, Thank you. You've got this new box set out. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty Jordan happy about Pe that. Jordan B. Peterson, 24 Rules for Life. Uh, and beyond There's even the, more? Uh, is that 24? Books. Is that like an expanded list, or is it 24 whole new ones? Well, 12 Rules sold seven, and I think Beyond Order is approaching a million now. So, yeah, Story. they're doing just fine. Did you ever think you'd sell that number of books? I never thought any of this would happen, you know. I mean, so... Yeah, I knew when I was teaching at Harvard and at the University of Toronto that some of the things I were... I was teaching were revolutionary. Mm. I was surprised that I got along with it, got away with it, let's say, as long as I did. And so it, there's a way in which it doesn't surprise me. And, and I wouldn't say that's because of the brilliance of my ideas. It's because I'm, I'm good at communicating ideas, but the ideas that I've been developing, they're ancient ideas. Mm. They're the oldest ideas we have in some real sense. So you're, you're they have a power. Right, absolutely. You uh, launched the Peterson Academy. Mm. Tell me about that quickly. Yeah, <laughs> Another? Well, how about everybody? Else? Okay, we need a Destiny coin and a Destiny Academy soon, guys. Okay, I got to get in on this shit. Jesus Christ. Well, um, I've been collecting, along with my daughter, um, great professors and educators from all around the world, and we're having them come to Miami to film four two-hour lectures on a variety of topics. Um, president of Hillsdale College, Larry Arn, just taped one for us on Churchill, which I thought was quite funny because, mm. you know, he's persona non grata. And so Arn and Churchill, so that's quite funny. And we're hoping that we can determine how to provide people a very efficient and very low cost alternative to a bachelor's degree. Mm. And we're working hard to make that accredited. I'd like to drive the cost of a bachelor's degree from its current $160,000 level to $4,000. Mm. And I think, I think we can do it. Mm. So that's the plan. $160,000? Early 2023. Jesus. What, 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 are the, what universities are you guys going to? So <laughs> Stop. I'm working with my son on an app. Or maybe in essay. Canada, maybe it's, that's what the essay cost is app. at the end of the day it, to the government or we, something? We I don't took know. a document I wrote for my students that helped them learn how to write and edit. And editing is very important if you're right, and people are never taught to edit. And it builds editing tools into the software, and we have... That sounds right for international students, that's for private university. 50,000 users we launched about two months ago. I'd like to teach a million people to write, so... And just finally, you're healthy, you look healthy? Pretty good, and much your wife, better. And your wife's doing a lot better than she was? Mm, she's back better than she was before, even, and my daughter's not ill either, so fancy that. I mean, that 42, 42 rules are like, bro, how many fucking rules? What headphones are you using? Oh, I got new ones. These are nice. 660S. I like these. These seem mostly pretty good. Oh, this is a really true one. Manifest the institution when true. And that's an amazing turnaround from where you were. That's for fan. sure, man. It was pretty brutal. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. You know, my wife almost died every day for seven months. Jesus, what happened? So. I'm very glad for you. Thank you, sir. I really am. It's been a, a really a fascinating interview. Are they better than your last pair? They should be. They've got a bigger number. And they were more expensive. So I hope so. Otherwise, I got scammerinoed. Cancer? Oh, damn. Somebody made a dumb thread. Listen, I don't mind it when men cry, okay? Somebody made some thread about like, oh, if people make fun of Jordan Peterson crying or blah, blah, blah. It's okay if men cry. There's nothing wrong with that. It just, it feels like every, I... Jordan Peterson and Vosh have this thing in common, and I could be wrong. But it feels like when I listen to both of them talk, they're trying to imagine what it would sound like if their quotes were being read from a book. That's like the feeling that I get. When, um, when whenever I hear Vosh say something, I feel like he's thinking like, this would be a great, great quote when somebody reads it in the future. It's gonna be so powerful. Um, 
And then I get the I get the same feeling with like Jordan Peterson. It's like when he's crying, it feels like he it feels like he's crying because he thinks he's saying something that's so profound. Like Jordan Peterson, like what do you think about um, like what do you think about like uh, like koalas in the world? Like, do you think that we should be like trying to preserve them or not? And he's like, well, that's a lot like life. And koalas are really the symbol of what we're all going for and, and to try. And it's, just, and it's like, bro, I'm sure certainly you've been asked this question like 50 million times. Like, what? Just answer the fucking question. I, I like I don't know. It just it gets like really weird. I feel like I feel like it's over dramatized. That's that's kind of like the feeling that I get. Um, and it's like, bro, just chill, okay? Just 